this is a tutorial on how to use vamp server beginning from its download and installation let's go to google and type in vamp server on it so you get the vamp server site click on that uh, go to download and you'll get the latest version available uh, the latest version here is vamp server 2.5 depending on your operating system whether it's 32 bit or 64 bit you download the exact version i'm downloading the 64 bit version go for download directly uh, soon as after our download starts in a few seconds it takes quite a time to get downloaded depending on your internet speed so once it's completed you just go for in its installation since i already have it uh, downloaded i'm going for cancelling it and i'll go for the installation run yes next go for the license agreement accept it uh, in C drive a folder named vamp is going to be created uh, go for next I already have this folder in C drive if I want I can install it in that folder itself if no I don't want I want to create a new folder again uh, again I go on C drive vamp just delete it since i've already uh, just make sure that you clearly uninstall the previous versions of vamp if if there were any before on your system after that only you can delete this folder now no Go for next create a quick launch icon desktop icon next install so while this installs let us see what is this vamp server exactly vamp server is a bundle server which has a server called apache here apache 2.4.9 mysql as the database uh, the version number given over here and the php as the coding language for the server and all these particular things are there so uh, here since mysql is already there many people usually again they you know, download and install mysql database separately you don't need to do all that over here so i guess this is completed yeah open this is how to select your default browser we all have different different browsers it's okay just go for open whatever your browser may be mm, the installations will finish uh, localhost and domain next finish if it's asking if i want to run the server now itself yeah of course yes see the red light shows that it is offline orange which means some services are starting up green light means it is going going online but here it's offline so the first time you go and put you normal click it go put online see again gone to orange a few services are starting up and again goes to green light now see shows put offline if you just keep your cursor on it shows that the server is online so now it's all ready to use go to Preferably use Mozilla Firefox while you're using VAMP because it has a lot of a set of beautiful parsers mm. in this address bar type localhost at the time of installation that's what we have given right click enter this is the VAMP server's home page that appears it is okay if you're not getting this if you're only getting a few hyperlinks also it is okay mm see your projects whatever we have created will be appearing these projects are in c drive let me go for c drive vamp what in and www folder whatever our projects are there we have to save them in this folder you create a subfolder whatever however your programming skills you create and you place in this and whatever folders are placed here it appears in this your projects place okay so first before that uh, let me show you a few modifications that we got to do click on this icon you find vamp server normal click on that go for apache httpd dot config here usually if you're using the older versions you find something called like this let me type for you and show you hello 127.0.0.1 this is what you find in in the previous versions of vamp if at all you're finding this anywhere just 
replace this particular IP address with all that's it you have to do since in 2.5 there is nothing like that you don't need to worry about that without any modifications I just close it don't save a small coding with me already so let me just place that in here login there's my per the have per my programs in it the PHP programs and dot SQL this dot SQL file let me show you I guess you know how to pre prepare this dot SQL file we have a database called stud log and in it there is a table called student login and you insert the values in it I'm just doing it for our testing purpose so first I got to import this dot SQL file into my database my SQL database how to do that I'll show you click on this icon click on VAM uh, go for PHP my admin it opens in your default browser so okay, PHP my admin file these are the set of databases that you have I need to create a new database so I click on the databases tab database name what have I given over here stud log so type in that stud log and click on create so the log uh, the new database has been created see you have you find that over here click on it and now here in this import you import that particular dot SQL file that you have uh, created where is it in your C drive in your VAM www login login dot SQL open and here click on go see import has been successfully finished three queries executed if there is any uh, mistake error in your file over here that is immediately displayed over here the import won't be successful and all the errors also will be displayed fine so everything has been created now student login is the table in that phone number and password is given so I have just given it in a random um, just see whatever phone number and password has been stored this is just for testing purpose so I'm showing you how to do all that now localhost again let me refresh this page find login over here click on that login in your project it's showing as not found just because there are a few more files in, in www folder see this index.php is a file which makes the home page over here to get displayed for example localhost this home page is displayed just because of this index.php file in the VAMP www folder if we remove these sorry if we remove these three files from here then here let's reload this page or like let us go for localhost host you'll get a page without that home page like this okay because we have deleted that index.php from here and let me tell you one important thing the index.php or JSP whatever server side language you are using the index uh, file name is very important because the first file that gets displayed in your browser uh, as soon as you open your local host is whatever is there in this index file so index file is the first file which gets open and related to this you have to uh, link up other files which are to be redirected next I guess you understood what I've explained so in our login index.php is the file so what is there in this how to login uh, the login page will be displayed let us see login page so whatever index file is there that is displayed at beginning and later the next files linked up files will be displayed so let me give a random number which I have given in database 789456 okay mm, password um, as we have seen here how to see the PHP my admin to check our password 
since we are just we know we want to know if it is really working fine or not I've shown you this mm, the phone number and the password so as it is I'm giving it over here and logging in it's redirected to some other page which I have given as welcome just to show that we have entered into another new page here you can see that page name profile.php and a button logout button with its perfectly functioning things logout again you are redirected to the index.php so just keep in mind when you are using WAMP there should be one file called index. whatever server side program you are using so this was the basic use of WAMP server hope you liked it thank you very much